Thank you, Jess, for coming on. Go ahead and introduce yourself, where you're from, what you do. Shit. Leo the Fool, man. They call me Leo the Fool. Uh, shit, I do. I do a lot of fucking shit. I, I work. I still work right now. I do body work, you know, on cars and shit. Shit. And uh, I do this rap shit, too. You know, that's what a lot of people know me as. A lot of people don't even know I do the car shit on the side. Car or rap, whatever, which, whichever one you guys want to say I do on the side, but yeah, that's what I do. And shit. Hell yeah. My name is Rob Lokes. I do auto body. I've been doing it for a while now, about 15 years. And I do a little bit of music, fuck around my primo, you know. And I do side jobs and all that. Hustle, man. Hustling. Hustling. Oh, yeah. Hustle. I'm just here to support the homie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call me Cee-Lo. Enough said, enough said. Yeah, I, heard yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you got some stories, bro. I heard you got some stories, bro. Yeah. And uh, doing the auto body uh, work, you guys wanted to do that? You guys have family that started you guys in there? How does that work? That shit went way back, huh? Yeah, way I back. This we could talk more about that. Yeah, way back to my my dad's uncles in Max, you know, in Vallarta, oh, Jalisco. And they brought it over here. <clears throat> And from then we we've been on it, you know what I mean? Try to make it keep it going. My little brothers too, they're on it. So it's just a industry that we were raised around. So we had yeah. no other choice. We had options to go to school, whatever. You know, they always my parents always give me the option, but fuck that. We were either hit the street and as soon as it came to being responsible, hit the shop. <laughs> yeah. And you guys do body work? Or are you guys painters? What do you guys do? Oh, we got painters too in the family. Though. Honestly, the family has like a name. Okay. Alta, Altamiras, yeah. Like they know the last name like in the, okay. in the industry and shit. Like you ask about Altamiras, I'm sure they know at least an uncle or somebody, you know? Yeah. Everybody's and, good at what they do. And for those that don't know, is it is it cheap to do? Because I know you got to buy tools. You got to buy all this. Is shit, it cheap? Are you investing though. in it's, yourself to that way? It's just getting worse. It's just getting more expensive. Gotcha. Yeah, Maco tools. Pro, yeah, Maco tools. Man, don't even talk <laughs> about it. Se wait la mete. Yeah. Man, don't, every Friday we're taking about <laughs> a buck, you know? Oh, yeah. Casino out of my bank account on every Friday, damn. and it's like, damn. It's like a kid in a candy store when you go in that truck, huh? That would just pulls like, up. You're like, oh, yeah, I got the newest gadgets and all that. Up, shit. Yeah. It's like a car. You don't even like to go in that bitch. You know? No one even likes What is that? What is that? What are you guys talking about? Okay, so Matco is a tool company uh -huh. for all kinds of industries, but in this scenario, it's just body man. So you have tools to uh, be able to like work the panel, the material for like paper sanding, all that stuff. And sometimes they got the latest tools that. They're just arced, just the right, perfect kind of size, length. for That way you can work on special uh, cars, cars, whatever the case yeah, is. Yeah, because that's really what it is, dog. Like, the more, like, if you have the right tools, your shit will go a lot smoother, a lot easier. Faster repairs. You got to be, yeah, you got to be, like, it's organized and shit. You yeah. can go to Harbor Freight and buy a bunch of tools for with 500 bucks, mm -hmm. but later your hand will start hurting because the grinder will shake too much. And it's macro and snap on. They just sell better quality, vibrates <clears> less. <throat> so it's kind of it's worth your money. It lasts longer. And if you're gonna be in this industry and do it for a while, you want to go for the good stuff. You know that's yeah. that's why I look at it. Hundred percent. And how about the music thing? What made you want to get in the music thing? Shit, the music. That shit. I don't know that. That goes back to like high school. It started off like fucking around. Okay. Let's tell everybody this. It started off like fucking around type shit, just with the homies. You know, like freestyling, fucked up. And then it slowly just like, hey, homie started telling me like, hey, that shit's hard, fool. You know, like, fuck around with it. But but it was hard back then, too. Like, we didn't have a studio or none of that, you know, like at all. What were you guys doing like, that? Oh, that shit was we'd just fuck around like that. It wasn't no recording. We would do it on, me and my cousin Milo, that fool don't do music at all. But back then, that fool was confident enough to, <laughs> we, would put the, <laughs> we would put the fucking just phone. The we would put the phone just like that next to a speaker. And just press record, and we just fuck around, like yeah, just, so just so we could hear it, you know, boom. And then, yeah, that shit was fun. That shit was cool. Did you do like battle rap or just nah, freestyle? Nah, we just like, freestyle, yeah. we, and we would just always just say like shit that happened, like that weekend, or you know, like cool shit, or like shit. funny stories, yeah, talking about yeah, yeah. about hainas or partying, like just tight shit. And then from there. Uh, we we like started figuring out. Oh, my homie, my homie Ellen Blends. Shout out my dog. Shout that fool, God. that fool started. Uh, he had his own studio at his crib. <clears throat> He's like one of the fools that I knew that 
that had it going like that. Like not all professional, but but he was doing it at his Sorry. crib with the studio and stuff. You know, like his homies had a couple of tracks, and I, at that time I was never going to school. I was always out. I was just doing bullshit. And that was like, hey, dog, like, instead of being over there, like, come kick it over here. Full lay track down. He knew that I would fuck around. Okay. <clears throat> like, with the rap and shit. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I pulled up one day. And I remember I felt all weird, too. The day I pulled up, boy, I had a bunch of Crips at his pad. Oh. And I felt all weird. <laughs> Not that I have anything against up. Crips, yeah, dog. Yeah. Crips are cool. Yeah. yeah. Keep it cool, Crips. But I was just like, fuck, it felt weird, dog. You know what I mean? I, I didn't know any of them. Them fools knew how to make music, and I did it. And the fools were all right there just sitting, listening, you know? So I was like, fuck. So I felt weird. It was like, lay your track down. And I'm like, fuck, dog. I felt like I was on the spot, you know? <laughs> but I was like, fuck it. Laid my shit down. I turned around, and all these fools were like, damn, fool. Like, shit that hell. shit's hard, boy. And I'm like, hell yeah, boom. <laughs> so it was cool. And then from there, it just kind of like I started getting more, a little bit more confidence and shit. And then my primo Rob told me too, like, hey, fool, like, you really want to do this shit? Like, we'll get our own. Like, we'll start building our own shit, you know? Like, yeah, fuck yeah. it. And then in his garage, we started, we got a mic. We're going to go pick it up from some fool, huh? Yeah. Boom. We fucking <laughs> picked it up and we we started building our own little studio in his garage. And then from there, that's where I laid down, like, a lot of my tracks. I did a whole little EP right there. And, yeah, it just took off from there until I found out... <clears throat> I ended up making a song with some girl, and she showed me the studio, okay. the studio in Ventura. Okay. That's when Mind Off was working there, Record X. Okay. And that was my first time being in a legit studio, and I didn't even like how I, how I sounded. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it didn't sound like the garage, you know, and I was so used to the garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, fuck this. Yeah, I, don't even, I, was like, I don't even like it right here. I like the garage better. <laughs> I was so used there, to it. There's something special about the garage. Though. Yeah. <laughs> and, I was, <laughs> stars, bro. and I was like, fuck it, like, you know? But I like, I realized that sound that I wasn't liking, that's the professional sound you know like that was the 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 good sound okay so i just had to get used to it and i just i never stopped going right there to the homie and i just i still go with him today okay with that fool yeah and mind who, off who, who who are your inspirations for like music like when you were growing up that led you like who did you were you inspired oh like what do i listen Me? to yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Nah, i listen to honestly my, my primo too like i my primo would rap and shit too like i'm so fucking around but i like yeah. that too like oh like it made me want to do it. Like it was cool to do it. Just yeah, like oh, uh, like just had that let, let it go. Yeah. This fool did a, a freestyle oh. in the halls like a long time, like, like a seven. long ass time ago. <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck, I like that shit. That shit was right tough." Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we would listen to that shit like, "Oh, that shit, that fool's a, a you know, that shit's hard." But I mean, when it comes to like big artists, shit, I listen to like a lot of like a little bit of everything. To the, thanks to this fool too, you know, like he would put us on to Easy E, Brother Lynch. Too short, fucking. Everybody who talks about smashing high knots and fucking thugging it. <laughs> that was like it's our dream, shit. That was our shit. Just like, uh, that's, that you know? Coast shit. Yeah. yeah. That chronic shit. Yeah. That was our shit. But yeah, that's like like my main things like that. I could say a lot of artists, though, but I got to really think about it. You consider yourself a writer or just you freestyle off the top? Nah, of the I write. Thing? I write. write. Sometimes. Sometimes I could uh, like freestyle, go in the booth. And I'll freestyle, but I gotta be fucked up. Yeah. Or like, maybe not even freestyle, but but just quick with it. You know what I mean? Like okay. I'll be, I'll hear a beat. Like a producer will make a beat right there on the spot, and I'll just like something will come to my head quick, and I'll just write it. Boom, 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 boom. But I, I can't say that I could go in there and and just dome it. You know? Like nah. Like I do. Like I'll say some shit, write it, and then say some shit, write it. You know? Like. Okay. How many albums have you dropped? Mm, two i dropped two two, two and one ep uh what are they called that way people can listen life of a fool uh amor de la calle and i forgot i forgot that first one Dog, i forgot what that ep was called we'll find out we'll, find, we'll, out. Find, we'll out. find out but those are the main ones amor de la calle that's the most recent one and the one before that life of a fool that's just two badass albums they're hard go check that shit out go yeah, check that out. shit out solid we'll be right back uh youtube live we'll be staying tuned Artificially genuine. Behind the scenes. Yep. Yeah.